Today, today we'll be presenting the Module B Proposed Construction of Five-Story Building for the Aged People. I am Julius Samak, seat number number 16. So, the project title is Singapore Active Age Home. As mentioned, it's for the aged people. So, my topic is the precast and precast system. So, proper planning and proper preparatory works should be planned ahead so to avoid any conflicts or design issues for the precast. So, as you can see on the table, uh, it's already su summarized on what items are precast, what items are forecast in C2, and the walls, which would be the load bearing and the load bearing. So, advantages. Well, I, would like, I would like to highlight the advantages for the precast system is the efficiency and the time it will take for its construction and installation of the building. So, the disadvantages is the uh, limited design flexibility. So any uh, not the same standard or size of the precast will be have any pro will have problems for the installation. So next is the equipment, as stated on the slide. So we are already considering to it's to use the PBU or the prefabricated bathroom units, but still depends on the cost. It will be efficient to use on the site on the project. So next is the construction and installation method. So first we prepared the the site. Next is we cast the slab together with the column. Then next is the installation of the beams, the staircase, and the lift shafts. Then we continue up to the fifth story. Then we complete the whole project. So we can install the precast wall if the first story is first story area is already available. So connection and installation details. So this is for the setting out, lifting installation, routing work, joint casting, and sealing. So that's my part. Thank you. Good day everyone. My name is Zia Cohen. 25 is my seat number. Uh, I would like to present for the architecture, floor wall, ceiling finishes for the SAAA projects. How we finish. This is finishing, so all floor finishing, all finishes and city finishing. Then here is it uh, for the purple or the floor finishes, the tile the uh, floor finishes for each room. How we do this for the second that and uh, for story. Here is for five story uh, the root garden. And this uh which tile of uh, floor finishes we are using, this is V9 times finishes, and also advantages of V9 time finishes. Then cement bed finishes. Then also advantages of this one so called traditional sand cement bed secretes. And the another one is granulated paving. Then also advantages of granulated paving and natural stone finishes, granite, the advantages of it. And this are uh, all finishes. How we plan to do for all finishes for each room. This for the uh, first, second, third, fourth, fifth story, and root garden. This is plastering, uh, which is we are using for the uh, uh, floor, uh, wall finishes, plastering and the wall tiny. The advantages of plastering and the wall tiny. This is city finishes. Also, Papa will say city finishes. Then how we do tile the city finishes and run tile for second, uh, first, second, third, fourth, and first story. Okay, this is uh, 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 city finishes, uh, which is we are using. The advantages of aluminum strip ceiling here. The another one is advantages of free and panel ceiling. That's all my pack. Thank you. My name is Pichain Maniandar. My seat number is 14. Today I'm going to present water cooking system. We propose four type of water cooking system in this building. This is for the table for four type of water cooking. Uh, number one, we perfect GP. This material we're going to use ground floor slab and the basement wall. This is for the advantages. Uh, number two for flexible cement is waterproofing. This material we are going to use bathroom, toilet, and uh, the external bed area. This is for the advantages for cement issues. Number three, this is for the roof material and uh, plunder box material. This material is evolved roof membrane. Uh, this is for the advantages. Number four, this is admix uh, plant mixing chemical waterproofing. This plant, this uh, waterproofing. We, are actually, we mostly use ground floor and the Arctic slab because ground floor water. 
this is for the advantages this difficult details for ground floor slab uh, this is the membrane this is the 25 mm of cement the link and grid this is waterproof membrane this is for the concrete uh, this difficult details for the toilet and baby area and the external area this is cementation this is for the this uh, this is typical details is roof slab roof top attic uh, attic uh, roof this is for the waterproof membrane this is for slope for water, uh, cement this is insulation board for 25 mm above uh, protection of cement this water outlet uh, here hs for four hs for uh, each hs for different waterproofing material i this these sketches I use for uh, layout plan for first story, second story, uh, roof, roof story. This is for the plan. So this this color sketch of uh, ground floor material, ground floor material. This is for the cementation material sketches. Uh, uh, same thing is second story, same same sketches. Uh, same thing in the toilet, uh, bathroom sketches. This is for fifth story, the toilet and this is for sketches for uh, rooftop, attic story. I have finished my presentation. Uh, thank you. Good day, everybody. My name is Tapai Wu. My NC number is four. I'm going to present my part. My part is foundation, including retaining wall, temporary support system, construction method, geotechnical instrumentation, and safety practice. First one first. Retaining wall, uh, it provides literal support to vertical slope of soil. There are many kinds of retaining wall. Suitable retaining wall system. When we choosing retaining wall system, there are a lot of retaining wall system. And many of these, we choose sheet pine type system. The advantages of sheet pines, uh, lower cost and installation duration is short. Foundation. The main function of foundation are here, and there are two types of foundation: shallow foundation and deep foundations. So there are foundation types. We choose cast in situ bow pine. Advantages of bow pine construction are here. Construction method: <coughs> bow pine construction drilling system. There are three types, and the suitable one we choose is drilling with fluid methods. The picture shows the sequence of bobine drilling system. Pine cap construction procedure are here. Temporary support system. We already choose sheet pine for retaining wall and we are going to use together with ground anchor. Advantages of ground anchor are here. Geotechnical instrumentation. Instrument can help our construction for monitoring the swine movement and settlement. So there were types of instrumentation we choose inclinometer and settlement marker and tip marker. Safety is the most important and project manager is the main role of the project. WSHO and the teams need to follow rules and regulations for prevention accidents. That is my part. Thank you. Good day, everyone. My name is Mindulai. I am the row number 10 and then from Groovy. Today, I'm uh, presenting the conquest assessment for architecture work. So this architecture, the quality delivered to our customer is very important. So we need to do the assessment. So now I'm presenting for the internet finishing for the architecture work. This is the percentage of the architecture work in the category voltage in the 65%. And then this is the internet finishes included floor, internet wall, ceiling, door, window, and then component as well. Internet finisher assessment, architecture work to be managed during construction in order to achieve high quality score as below. Assessment, we need to cover all the internet only, not include, exclude the household shelter. Projects we need to provide all the layout plan or the drawing as well. Assessment is the based on the objective criteria. What is the work mentions and then the finishing of the internet finishes. 
ensure all the electricity, all the supply, plumbing sanitary, all the component is installed properly. Units are, once we do the assessment, unit is ready to schedule and do the assessment as well. Ensure all the protective provision makes easily damaged architectural items such as doors, window, all this one need to be removed. Seven, uh, we are present the developer site representation during assessment is required. So, um, example, we need to show the example or before the assessment. What we need to do is any missing broken accessory for the architecture item need to be assessed. Any crack, any damage, defect, all we need to do. All those components, water, piping, all need to be functioning. And also the air conditioning. So units that are selected for the window, water tightness test and the conquest and fill, we need to be retested. Code assessment for the internet finishes, floor, internet wall, ceiling, door and window. And then the finally is the internet components, the, such as the fissure, wardrobe, kitchen cabinet, ventilator, mirror, budget, and etc. So water tightness test is on another option. This contact the water tightness test if carried out, will be reflected in their quality map as well. Assessment does not cover quality of material or issue design preference. Here is the same theme SSR look for it. So, window standard, what is the floor standard, mechanical, electric, and many, the door standard, the component, and the ceiling standard as well. So another one is the additional one we need to do the water tightness test to the window. So here's the assessment or showing the photo or we doing this um, floor assessment this some of the different internal wall assessment ceiling assessment door assessment and also the water tightness and the components all we need to check individually how to get the bonnet point so there was a given our project is a 50 million and the bonnet threshold is point to the minimum is bonnet point 80, 88 so how do we calculate to get the 150,000 bonnet? So what is the actual conquest score? So if we get 93 point, we can get this 150,000. So this is the calculation I'm showing there. Okay, uh, this is the bonnet and discount threshold reference I, I'm taking from the BCA Academy for the latest day is the 31st March 2020. Uh, this is end of my part and then thank you. Good day everybody, my name is Tapayu. I am going to present again environmental safety and control measure. We must consider environmental safety for our construction. How we can control? We must produce checklists and inspection. Here is waste management and pollution control. Reason and how we can get, we must carry out frequently inspection. Rice control and checklists. Uh, this is also one of the important ones. Here, chalice and resin. Dust control chalice. It is also important. And resin are here. Sick control chalice. Resin and inspection. Who must inform? Fatter control. Health and hygiene control chalice. This is one of the most important for our workers have an environment environment they have so we must take care this a lot here reason and inspection who must involve and how we can carry out frequently uh, these are observation and prevention of waste management and before and after noise control and dust control observation and prevention Seek control, observation and prevention. Further, health hygiene control, observation and prevention. I think we have a lot of laws and rules and regulation. Here's uh, the acts of Singapore rules and regulation we must follow. References are here. So our group P, P2 presentation will be end here. Thank you.